Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Um, I just heard a, a video by uh, Line of Judah. I'm gonna put that in the description for you guys. And uh, Line of Judah, oh, it's choking me up. Thank you. Um, here's where I'm at. You know, um, for me, there is no fear here. The, the only thing that I could tell you is I hurt. I hurt for people out there that are hurting because I know what it feels like to hurt. I know what it feels like to be lost, to be confused, to not have anyone love you, and to think that you found a guru that loves you and they're doing nothing but abusing you and hurting you, and you don't find out about it until it's too late. I don't want anyone else to fall into this. These people that are in New Age, they left the church for a reason. Uh, they, went to, they went to people in the church for help. And I want you to understand something. You're seeing firsthand in these pastors what kind of callous individuals. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what denomination you are, what religion you belong to. There are people like these. These narcs are everywhere. The, Satan is taking over this world and he's in every single church on this planet. It doesn't matter what religion you are. You see, when you have people out here who callously hurt other people, and um, it, it seems like they don't know how to support other people. And, and, and anyone who is outside the Christian church, because it's not about having Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior with these people. It's that, do you belong to the Christian church? This is what it is. They're, they're all about religion. Um, and I will tell you, I've told you this for years now. Religion is in the realm of Satan. It is in the realm of Maya. This is where these people are operating from. They have no, no um, conscience about hurting people out here. And here's what I want to tell you. That Dubois uh, uh, of Vlad's. If he was actually a yoga teacher, you have to understand what's happening here. If he was actually a yoga teacher, he would have, number one, understood that, there, that the third eye is real. He would have then understood that the chakra system is real. He would have understood that spiritual powers are real. He would have understood that everything that I have ever said was truth. And what did he do? He came out and spoke against me. He came out and spoke, and it wasn't me personally. Trust me, I'm not taking what he said personally. He came out and said, in other words, that what I was saying wasn't truth. So he's making these lying pastors out here, propping up their egos, making them look like they're telling the truth so that more people can get hurt out here. This is what the whole deal has been for me. And then to come out here and call me a demon using God's word. You know who the demons are. And I want you to take a look at the timeline of all of this. Because this is what baffles my mind. I came on the internet and I told you all that... The Holy Spirit told me that I should come out here and make a video and let people know what's going on with the occult so that they can protect themselves. Excuse me. So that they can protect themselves. And what happened? It was like the very next day, Mike Signorelli put out a video on New Age. His lying video saying that there's no such thing as a third eye. They're faking it. Um, so then the very next day, I put out a video and corrected it. This is when all of this started. Then right after that, Isaiah put out a video. Then he had the do boy come on and undermine everything I said. If that guy was a true yoga teacher, he would have known that everything I said was gospel truth. 
So he's either lying purposely just to undermine me or he really was not a yoga teacher and he doesn't know what he's talking about. One or the other. One or the other. That's really all I have to say. And, and here, once again, what is the reason for all of this? It's nothing, be, nothing other than their egos got hurt. Their egos got hurt. That's all this was. Why did this have to turn into such a big deal? I still don't know. And when this happens, when cognitive dissonance happens, you understand that you are dealing with evil. These people are all narcs. They're all narcs. As I showed you how they all ganged up on uh, Alan Parr the other day. And uh, yeah, then then after I made my video, then that night they, they all had a, a very nice... Uh, I didn't watch it because I can't stomach these people anymore. But um, from what Bob Larson said last night, um, it, it was very nice and, and it was scripturally relevant. And I, so I guess they must have cited scripture. Does it matter? This is my answer. Does it matter? Deliverance of demons is only one aspect of a spiritual path. It's only one aspect. And it's not even the most important aspect. The most important aspect is number one, accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the second most important aspect is, is that you learn to transcend the world, which none of those pastors have done. They're actually going deeper and deeper and deeper into the world. They're doing Satan's work as they're out here attacking people and lying about people and using God's words to call people demons. This is what has me so upset. This is really what has me so upset. There are so many people suffering out here. And I will tell you, there's very few people, with, with, with the exceptions of those who actually know that they're, they're following Satanism. They are literally following Satan. And they made that conscious choice to do that. Like these Nithya Nanda goons, they know he's a demon and they know they are doing his work as they astral project in my house. If they ever come near me, they're going to wish they never saw me. That's all I have to say. There is no fear here. There is no fear here. They better understand that. Put your thumbs up here. Put your thumbs up here. I can't tell you. You already know. You already know. You can see, you can see Molak in my eyes. You can see Jezebel in my eyes. I don't have to say another word to you, demons. So, this is what I'm talking about. This is all the abuse that I have had to put up with out here. Uh, let's take that tarot demon. Past seven years, I've been trying to tell everybody out here how she's been baiting and bashing me since, since I was so sick with the nervous breakdown and benzo withdrawal. She's been abusing me since then and, and lying her ass off, sitting on that couch, calling me crazy. Every time I tried to tell all you guys, she's baiting and bashing me with those damn tarot cards every single day. Nobody would believe me, yet you all believed that I was crazy. Well, now it appears that you're believing me because our views had, have dropped drastically. Now it appears you all believe me. And what did she attempt to do yesterday? She attempted to do the, oh, poor pitiful old lady, but Robin has said it's okay and you need to have your kundalini lying through her teeth. Lying through her teeth. Once again, trying to make me look like a liar. Do you understand? Uh, and this is what I was laughing about when I made my video last night with the Nithy and Anda goons. I just made it uh, I, because I know they're watching when I make a video. Like they're watching me in my phone right now. So I know they're watching. Uh, I, I, I put the camera on on my uh, computer and I said... Because I looked, I looked on my taskbar. There was five of them in my computer. Why the hell are five people hacked into my computer 24 hours a day? And my cell phones 24 hours a day. Why? Am I the head of a country? How important am I? This is, this is what I said to them. How, how many Nithy and Nanda goons does it take to unscrew a light bulb? Why are they wasting their time? Watching me 24-7. I live the most boring life there is to live. 
Why are they wasting their time 24-7 watching me? This is what I want to know. And um, I said, oh, they're only showing me how important I am. How afraid their faggot guru is of me. That's what they're showing me. That's what they're showing me. Because there's no reason for this. I stopped following that child rapist five years ago. There's no reason for this. But this is what I have been subjected to this whole entire path. And now these other, these other uh, four demons out here, they think they're going to jump in on the game and attack me? They, they got their own person. This is all I'm going to say. And trust me, I know God is with me. I would have never made it this far if God wasn't with me. And there is no fear because I can see right through these people. They are the ones who are asleep. Not me. Not me. And the word from God was repent or they will have to experience what's coming for them. Do you understand? They're experiencing what's coming for them. All of them. And Nityananda, oh my God. I get butterflies in my stomach to, to know what's coming for you. I've literally been shown what's coming for you. I get butterflies. I can't wait. I can't wait. Put that thumbs, that thumbs up, sweetheart. Put it up there. Put it up there.